Joining me now is Bobby Chacon. He is a retired FBI special agent and expert in criminal and counterterrorism investigations. Bobby, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, the Sri Lankan president has admitted this was a major intelligence failure. What do you think went wrong here? Well, sometimes there's apathy in a place that hasn't been subject to this type of violence for a long time. And Sri Lanka has been somewhat stable for, you know, 10 years since their civil war ended. So, you know, there could have been a, you know, a little bit of apathy on the, uh, and it wasn't an intelligence failure because the intelligence made its way to the people it should make its way to. They just didn't take the threat seriously enough to handle it, to hand it off to their operational people who then go out and try to round these people up or surveil them, something like that. The intelligence was solid. It came from outside the country, from foreign intelligence services. It, it told them about the threat. And unfortunately, the government, for whatever reason, didn't take that intelligence and turn it into operations, which would have maybe apprehended these people before they carried out the attack. So now we're talking about this latest raid that they're doing, uh, one of several taking place around the country. Do you think that's a sign the authorities are taking this seriously, or is it a sign that they actually don't have things under control? No, I think it's, it's a sign that they're taking it seriously. They've obviously, the fact they've even found these locations to raid shows me that they're following up on leads, they're doing interviews, they're now going back maybe and looking at the, intel, the original intelligence more closely, and maybe they're gleaning things that they can actually use in operations or else they wouldn't know where to look. So I think they're following up on, number one, the, the incident that happened, and number two, the actual intelligence that they didn't look at when they received it originally. So I think that it's a, it's a good sign, and I think it's a sign that they're taking, obviously, this seriously now. And, you know, it's not over, because now we know they, they found more explosives, more devices. It looks like there are more attacks planned. And now they have to determine, you know, the extent of this organization within their country, and they'll have to decide when and if they've rounded all these people up. And neighboring India is also concerned. They have declared a terror alert in states that are close to Sri Lanka. What do you think the significance of that is? Well, I think that's, a, uh, that's an acknowledgment by the Indian government that the Sri Lankans weren't really taking the threat seriously. And now they've had this attack, so they allowed somehow this group to fester. This, these kind of operations don't take place overnight. There's long-term planning that must have taken place both outside and inside Sri Lanka. So the Indian government, I'm sure, is concerned about how long and how large this group was allowed to germinate inside Sri Lanka. And now they have so much devices and so much personnel. Are they able to export those, uh, those incidents now to neighboring India? So I think that's an acknowledgment of the Indian government that says we don't know to what extent the Sri Lankan um, ignoring of the original intelligence allowed this group to grow inside Sri Lanka. So they may have a substantial group that's able to carry out attacks on their doorstep. Bobby, we just have about a minute left. Uh, Sri Lanka's president is shaking up the country's defense agencies. How does that affect the country's ability to prevent those future threats you were talking about? Well, he has to do it properly. He has to maintain his operational capabilities to go after these people, while at the same time addressing why the original intelligence wasn't taken seriously. So there, there is, you're right. You're exactly right. That he has to do it very carefully. In fact, he cannot shake things up so much that his operational capabilities are diminished. He's got to keep that, but he's got to look back at where the failures were and correct those failures. Bobby Chacon, live for us in Los Angeles. Thanks for your perspective.